so uh, dear students uh, let us uh, continue with our discussion on multi stage vapor compression refrigeration system so in the last session we learned that uh, for multi multiple stages of uh, vapor compression refrigeration system we may be requiring uh, some flash gas removal or we may be requiring some sort of intercooling okay so and and we discussed how we can represent that uh, uh, flash gas removal and uh, uh, intercooling uh, in our pressure enthalpy diagram so let us now consider a situation where we we may be requiring that uh, idea so here let us discuss a compound compression method with multiple compressors and simple intercoolers so here we are discussing about a multiple stage Uh, of vapor compression refrigeration system so here in this uh, diagram so in this di let us consider a simple diagram where there will be a simple uh, where there will be a one single evaporator or one freezer compartment followed by compressor 1 c1 a second compressor c2 a third compressor c3 in between two successive compressors uh, two consecutive compressors uh, we are keeping a simple intercooler intercooler is Uh, nothing but a simple heat exchanger where uh, the heat uh, uh, from the refrigerant will be uh, exchanged or it will be rejected to a uh, uh, another somewhat cooler medium But, so this will be happening in the in any at any uh, simple inter, a simple heat exchanger called intercooler so what is happening inside the intercooler is the uh, refrigerant which is coming out from c1 it will be uh, passed through the intercooler before it enters the second compressor c2 so what happens in this uh, uh, intercooler is it this refrigerant which is coming out from uh, c1 it will be rejecting heat uh, not full not full amount of its heat but a partial amount of its heat will be rejected to some cooler medium Uh, and only after that it is going to enter the uh, second compressor c2 so same things the same thing happens uh, between c2 and c3 also so now uh, so that is what we are calling uh, that, that is what we are me meaning by intercooling or intermediate cooling happening between two consecutive stages of uh, compressors okay so uh then followed by uh, a condenser a, a single condenser and a single expansion valve okay so now let us discuss uh, one by one 1 to 2 is a evaporator process or constant pressure heat absorption process by the uh, refrigerant so in pressure enthalpy diagram now let us try to represent this whole uh, equipment or ho this whole arrangement in a pressure enthalpy diagram so 1 to 2 will be our constant pressure heat absorption step by the uh, refrigerant which is no nothing but the refrigeration step in our system then followed by 2 2 3 2 is the process where the uh, first compressor c1 will be compressing or isentropically compressing our refrigerant which is coming out from the evaporator so 2 2 3 it will be our isentropic compression process then from 3 to 4 it is passing through a intermediate cooler or intercooler where it uh, the, the refrigerant uh, will be rejecting some portion of its heat to some cooling medium so what happens that so from 3 to 4 point 3 is the exit of the uh, uh, compressor 1 then immediately after the exit of compressor 1 it is passing through a intercooler so intermediate cooling is happening so the refrigerant will be cooled from its superheated state towards its saturated vapor state so initially at the point 3 uh, that is at the exit of the compressor 1 the uh, nature of the refrigerant was superheated vapor that is why we are representing point 3 on the superheated vapor region but because it is passing through the intercooler after this point 3 uh the superheated uh, uh vapor vapor uh, form of the of, of, for vapor form of this refrigerant will be transferred to saturated vapor form of the refrigerant by because it is uh, losing some of its heat okay and uh, uh, point 4 will be marred on the saturated vapor uh, line okay so again uh, after uh, after point 4 what is happening it is uh, the refrigerant is going inside Uh, the second stage of compressor that is c2 
so 4 to 5 is the second level of uh, isentropic compression by compressor 2 or C2 so for 4 to 5 it will be a isentropic compression process and inclined line in pressure enthalpy diagram so again after po 0.5 after coming out from C2 it is again uh, the refrigerant is again entering the intercooler where it will be again getting intercooled so immediately after 5 we can draw a horizontal line towards 6 we can mark the point 6 on the saturated vapor line uh, because 5 to 6 is the second intercooler okay then 6 to 7 it is the third stage of compression or isentropic compression process 6 to 7 will be another inclined line in the pressure enthalpy diagram so 6 to 7 then from 7 to 8 it will be our uh, 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 common condenser or uh, the, uh, the uh, common uh, heat exchanger where the refrigerant will be rejecting the heat to the surroundings okay so we have already studied about this it is a constant pressure process so 7 to 8 will be a horizontal line in our pressure enthalpy diagram then followed by uh, 8 after after point 8 we are fixing a expansion value or our throttling value before it uh, before the um, uh, our refrigerant is entering the evaporator okay so throttling process 8 to 1 a horizontal a vertical line in our pressure enthalpy diagram again followed by our refrigeration process 1 to 2 and the cycle continues okay so uh, this is the uh, case uh, for a compound compression method with multiple compressors and simple intercooler okay so now uh, the ne in the next case we will discuss uh, how we can represent uh, when there is a flash gas ch chamber is coming instead of a simple intercooler okay so uh, let us uh, learn that in the next section all of you uh, please draw this uh, diagram and the associated pressure and be diagram then only it will be uh, remaining in your memory okay so thank you